Vegas officially put out the odds on the Astros getting hit by pitches, and I am taking the over. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today to talk about the Houston Astros. I'm changing it up a little bit this offseason and talking about them once again. But this time I think it's actually going to be kind of fun because we're talking about the odds of how many times they're going to be hit by pitches uh, in a season, in a year, how many times you guys are going to charge the mound. I, I admit it, I kind of like this. So let's pull this up right off the bat, guys, before we get going. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, the more people I have following me, the more that it allows uh, for YouTube to send out my videos to other people to watch them. Click like on the on the videos as well. It does the same thing. Just helps spread the word about 90 Know It All and the videos, the website, everything that we do here. So please do that. It takes a second. Let's move on. Guys, <laughs> Vegas came out this morning. I think it was either this morning or last night with the odds and the over-unders for the betting lines for the Astros getting hit by pitches. And like I said in the, the intro, I'm, go, I'm going with the over on some of these. So right off the bat, the first one is how many times Astros players will get hit by pitches this season. And the number is 80.5. 80.5. That's, that's where they're setting the mark at. Guys, there are teams that get hit more than that without a scandal. I mean, there are teams that can be in the high 80s even higher than that at times. So I'm taking the over by a long shot. If they said this at 95, I'd probably still consider taking the over at this point. But at 80.5, oh heck yeah, I'm taking the over. I mean, seriously, right now, I want to go place a bet on the over for this one right now because this is a no-brainer. Even with all the threatened punishments from the commissioner's office, you got guys who are going to be thrown at them. You're going to get guys who are going to get hit by pitches that aren't even intentional. So 80.5, that's way low. I'm going higher than that. I would bet the over. Once again, I think this is a no-brainer. The second one they have for over-under is number of times that, that players charge the mound, and they have it at 1.5. You're saying that only two, that only one player or no players will charge the mound this year. No, I mean, this is for Astros players. They're going to be targeted all season long. They're going to get frustrated. There's going to be two guys who are going to charge them out. I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over all the way. I think this one's going to be closer to, to four. I think four would be a solid number, a realistic number. Now, that may sound high, but, you know, what happens when Altuve gets thrown at his head three four, five times, his teammates are going to charge the mound. You know, what happens when Bregman gets drilled in the back and the head and the leg and the arm and the wrist? Because he's going to get plastered all over the place. He just is. He's going to charge the mound at some point. So this is going to happen. I think 1.5, once again, is low for number of guys, number of times guys charge the mound. I think it's going to be, I think four. Four is my number. Now that could be too high, but I, I'm still going with the over. Then it gets into the individual odds on who will be most hit by a pitch. And Bregman's 1-for-1, one 1-1, one, 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 and that's, I agree with that. Springer is 2-1, 2-to-1 uh, odds. I think that's reasonable. Altuve is 3-to-1, understand that. And Correa is 7-to-2. That, I, I, like I said, that's, I don't think that one's, I think that one's a little too, I think at, at first... With his initial comments saying, yes, we cheated, we're sorry, I think that would have been a good number. But after he started bashing other players, started making comments, I think he's much more likely to get hit this year uh, than he was even a week ago. So those are the odds. I Once again, I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over all day, every day. I think Bregman is the safe bet for guys who get hit the most. I don't think he's liked across the league to begin with. And then you add in this, the fact that he was arrogant and cocky about, well, I guess I just knew what pitches were coming in his press conferences. Oh, I think he's going to get hit all day, every day. I would even bet if they get hit by pitch, let's say 90 times, I would bet 10% of those 
at the very least, are just Bregman. I think he gets hit at least 10 times this year. At least 10 times. And I wouldn't be surprised if a few of those are very high, very tight towards the head. Not that someone's throwing for the head, but when you're throwing at someone's back and it slips out a little bit, it's going to go a little high. That's what's going to happen. So it's, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy that here we have Vegas now putting odds on how many times you guys are going to hit because honestly, there is nothing the commissioner can do at this point. He failed to act, failed to punish the players, failed to punish the organization to the level in which the rest of the players across the league were accepting and an understanding of. I mean, think about this. This weekend, here's the guys who were very vocal about this cheating and how disappointed they were. Okay, you know Bellinger. Bellinger came out and he just blasted out Tuve, blasted the Astros. Okay, and then Correa had his little remarks, but but Bellinger came out. That is your reigning National League MVP. Another guy who came out and blasted the team was Mike Trout, the best player in baseball, a talent above all others, came out and pretty much said that they need to strip the title from them. Here is Mike Trout, a guy who is not a flamboyant, loudmouth guy, saying they should take the title away. Okay, so there's your NL MVP, your all-time greatest AL MVP, who will always win the award as long as he's playing, it seems like. Then you have Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge, who is a very quiet, very respectful individual, and his comments, I think they were either this morning or yesterday, man, they were, they were harsh. For a guy who does not say anything negative ever, it seems like, they were, they were harsh. Then you have Nick Markakis with the Braves, and he flat out said these guys just need to get beat up. They just need to be punched and, and just physically beat up. I mean, that's what, he, that's what he said. And so you got that. You've got guys from teams across Major League Baseball who are just furious about this. And the more they talk, the worse things are going to be for the Astros. The worst things are going to be for the commissioner's office, too, because he has got to get a handle on this. And he's got to go to the players' union and say, hey, you've got to let me do something. Because if you don't, this is going to blow up in both of our faces. You've got to do something. This is something where Manfred and Clark have got to sit down at the table and say, hey, we don't like each other. We don't agree with each other on a million different things. But this one thing we've got to figure out together or it's going to get worse. It's just going to get worse. And that's, that's the truth. I mean, it's already bad enough as it is. And let's be honest, this is one of the, one of the worst scandals in baseball history. And I know that Astros fans will say, oh, everybody's cheating, all this stuff. No, no, no. This is one of the worst in history. Because when you had PEDs, we had steroids, every team had people doing this stuff. And so guys wouldn't rat them out. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't hurt your own teammates. But here, with the way that some of these players are talking, yes, there are teams who may have done some things that were on the verge of, of cheating or cheating, but nothing to the level of the Astros. I think that's why they feel compelled to speak out because they know they didn't do anything like this. They're not even close to this level of cheating, and they're mad about it. They are mad that the Astros did this and got away with it. I mean, here's what happened. Astros cheated, won a World Series, got caught cheating, kept the World Series, and had no punishment whatsoever. I'm sorry, but being embarrassed in public is not a punishment. That is a, oh, okay, you've been punished now. That's what that is. They need to be punished. That, that title needs to be stripped at this point. And that's from the words of the major league players, from the best in the game. They are saying, take the title away. If that's what they say, I'm going to listen to them. And I agree with them. So, guys, those are my thoughts. Those are the betting odds. Are you taking the over or are you taking the under on the hit by pitches? Um, charging the mound, I'm taking over as well on that one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm Josh, the 90 Know-It-All, coming to you today to talk about the Astros betting. See you guys later.